I've been and bought one of the new Tesco beers. But I bet it's not the one you're thinking of. Hello again and welcome back just got reviews things just things just all sorts of things really car washes music maybe some books at some point when i finish one might actually finish a book one day many things i've read over the years many many books so tesco have released some new beers into their Frankly overpriced drivel shops now with their Tesco Club card scams. We'll get to that at some point, I think. Um, about 22, actually, 22 beers have circled round into Tesco. And they're, this drop, <coughs> of all the drops, has been the least exciting, I think, is the the way to put it to be fair i know a lot, of, a lot of people have commented saying the arse has fallen out of the craft beer market i think there's a lack of uh originality i think there's a lot of beers that have potentially been just re-skinned so beers that have been out before so in so the emperor's new clothes sort of beers there's again a wash with Hazy IPA and New England IPA, fruited beers, etc., etc., etc. That has saturated, certainly saturated the supermarket market, supermarket market for the last couple of years, uh, where people are crying out for something slightly different now. Um, we've we've had your bog standard. New England IPA supermarket edition. Thank you now, Tesco, Morrison's, Asda, Sainsbury's. Could we do something a little bit different now, please? Thank you very much. Um, and with that in mind, there was a couple of beers that interested me out of this new range. The um, uh, the Northern Monk Doppelganger I'm going to pick up at some point. And this one, actually, and the reason I picked this one up is two reasons <clears throat> oh, going back the pricing on some of these beers would give stephen hawkins the fucking shakes i mean who prices a 4.7 percent twist ipa at four pound uh the northern monk one and then doppelgangers is it seven percent i think it is six six point eight and that's three pound fifty it doesn't make any sense but getting back to this beer the reason i picked this one up couple of reasons uh firstly might be three reasons i just thought of another one firstly i've never had anything from the brewery i don't believe secondly it's my favorite style of beer and thirdly it's a style of beer that is criminally overlooked in the supermarkets so this is from badger brewery down in uh blamford i think they are down in dorset uh it's their outland range and it's their west coast ipa and I absolutely love a well-made West Coast IPA. If this isn't well-made, I'm going to lose my temper because out of all of the range, this was the one that I wanted. Three pound a can, 5% ABV. I would like that a little bit higher, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to quibble over it. There is loads and loads and loads on the back. So I'm going to read it out. I'll read some of it out. <coughs> Outland Badger Brewery. We're badgers, not sheep. You'll find us on our own path, exploring our surroundings, hunting out flavours and uncovering hidden secrets to bring you a characterful, a characterful collection of craft beers. A load of waffle, don't care. West Coast IPA, bold, hoppy, citrusy. Like the Jurassic Coast, everything else pales in comparison. A true, truly spectacular Indian pale ale made from a tasty trio trio of Amarillo, Cascade and Mosaic hops to give it a deep bronze colour, punchy citrus flavours <coughs> and a powerful hop character. 
and it's got pairing notes pair with a fully loaded cheeseburger and a friendly game of beach cricket it's pissing down here uh, part blah 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 blah. That old shit. Best before. Yeah, yeah, the barley malt. Yeah, I'm not, if, if you're putting adjuncts into a West Coast IPA, you'd be fucking shot. Um, really looking forward to it. I hope you're all keeping well. This has been in the fridge since I picked it up yesterday. So let's see if it's good. I would just love. A supermarket to take a little bit of the balls by the horns and do some more west coast stuff bitter i want it bitter i'm fucking bitter i want my beer to be bitter that's all i want that way i can have a bit of a smile at least in the glass obviously doors are shut it's it's night here uh, about half seven in the in the glass let's look in the right side of Amber, amber in the glass. Two, three finger white head, looks nice. This has got a slight etching on the bottom, so it forces your carbonation. Let's hope, slightly runny nose. Sweet malt. Citrusy, a little bit of orange, bit of grapefruit. Doesn't it doesn't smell fantastic? I'm not going to sit and lie. Very soapy white head, actually. Um, in for the penny, in for the pound. Cheers, everybody. Oh, it's very short. Very short. Um. Oh, this would be good. I would describe that. I would describe that as a tradale trying to be West Coast. It's not terrible, but it's not fantastic either. But I'll tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be better than half those fucking juice bombs, I think. Um, sweet malt in there. It's very light in the mouth, which is why I would want it to be about five and a half, six percent in all honesty for my for a West Coast. <coughs> Glass of steam, nothing. But there is a nice bitterness in there. It's not as bitter as I would want it to be, like myself. Grapefruit, a little bit of orange, slightly, slightly, and I mean very slightly, piney, resinous, but it's not sticky enough to stick to the roof of your mouth which is what i would like from it it's all right it's but it's a west coast in the supermarkets which i'm going to give it a thumbs up for i'm going to give the beer a thumbs up i'm going to give, it a, give tesco a thumbs up for actually getting a west coast in there um it's not terrible it's it's not it's not the best west coast that's been into a supermarket madness i think it was madness not the group I think it's madness from um, Wild Beer before they got taken over by is it Curious Brew. Um, was well, probably the best West Coast or oh, the By the Horn, the By the Horns one. That was that was pretty bloody good. Um, it's all right. It's all right, but what it is is it's completely different to the other haze bombs, juice bombs that are going to be in there. Um, and what we're going to give it. A thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. Leave it thumbs in the middle. Um, would I buy it again? Do you know what? No, I'd buy proper job. <laughs> buy proper job, actually. Four pack. I've got a four pack of proper job in the fridge cans. Um, I'd buy proper job. Sadly, it's not. It's not terrible, and I'm glad that they at least put it in there. But for me, it is definitely a thumbs in the middle. Have you tried Badger? Brewers.
Brewing Brewery, Badger Breweries, West Coast IPA. If you have, leave a comment in the comments box. Let me know what you think of it. If you haven't, and you want to try something different than the crazy hazy beers, then pick one up. It's only three pounds, not four pounds for that fucking thing from uh, Northern Monk. Um, yeah, and the other beer, there's, there's a ginger pale ale that's doing the rounds. There's another hazy beer. Oh, fuck. Uh, that's my head in. That's my head in. Um, especially, I, I, listen, I like a New England IPA, but I like a well made New England IPA and a well made. I've got a load down here, I can't show you because this will come out before then. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not against New England IPA, I'm against the the um substandard version to go to supermarkets at an inflated price if you like this video give it a thumbs up lecture over <laughs> this video give it a thumbs down there's a subscribe button over there just got review things and i see you soon